the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to program the theta servos using this uh, theta servo program box. Um, uh, for this uh, demonstration, I will be using uh, just a straight 2S uh, LiPo. I am not going to be using the uh, flyerless unit. And uh, I will use one of these uh, uh, theta servos. Now, uh, these, these uh, particular theta servos do have NFC or near field communication. Uh, I do not have an Android uh, phone, so I have not been able to uh, program uh, these servos. So this uh, dedicated uh, servo program uh, box uh, will uh, program uh, these servos. I labeled the back of the unit uh, with uh, a servo and fiberless. Uh, so uh, this is uh, where I would connect uh, the servo and this is where I actually connect either the fiberless unit or the 2S LiPo. Uh, this is just a little easier for me to follow. For this demonstration, I will only use one servo. I'm going to connect the servo to uh, the port that I label as servo. And the other port uh, will connect the battery. And this is what the display will look like. At this point, there's really no power going to the servo, so the servo can move uh, passively. Uh, if I press in, uh, so, so basically you have a, a one, two, three, four, five buttons. Uh, in, in this case, the uh, left button corresponds to in. The center button corresponds to PROM, which is program or programming. And this rightmost button will be a uh, test. Um, so what we'll do in first. And all this tells you is uh, what, what's coming in. So uh, the, the battery that I'm using only has 7.64 volts and uh, whatever all this, this other data is. Now here is the, the part, um, oh, and the, uh, let me see. And by the way, I just pressed this up button for exit, okay? So now I go back to the um, original menu uh, let's not go into programming yet. Let's go into test. So here, this actually allows me to test the servos. So I'm going to press test. Uh, here, it defa always defaults to the 1520. Um, so I, I'm going to change the parameters because I already uh, changed uh, these servos from 1520 to 760 uh, microsecond uh, uh, center pulse. So I'm going to go to PARA for parameters. Um, I'm going to change this mode to SR, so this will be mid will be 760. Now there's other modes, SR, there is this uh, SHR, which is a 1500, SSR 300, SUR 300, uh, normal, again, this is not what we want here, 1520, uh, we want the SR. Uh, again, I already pre-programmed the servo to use uh, 760. Uh, I will go up uh, here. And now uh, the servo is, uh, is still um, passively uh, uh, working, but now to activate the servo, I need to uh, go to 1010. And I hear the little chime there. Uh, so now if I press uh, 760, the servo is uh, pretty, pretty centered. Um, and then uh, 1510, again, that, that's how that, that works, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna exit out of here. And this, is, again, is the, the prompt uh, part of the menu that I use to test the servos uh, without the flyerless unit. Uh, for Now we're going to go into programming. Um, here, um, I don't know what read file does, but here you want the read servo. So I will read uh, the servo parameters. Sometimes you know, this doesn't work. You have to do it uh, uh, twice because this will be the test uh, parameter. So I will have to exit out of this. Press PROM again, and hopefully it'll work this time. So read, read servo, and now it's, it's reading the servo. So as you read the servos, these are the um, uh, the default parameters. So I'm gonna go down, and it defaults to heli. It also, uh, however, I changed the reverse. Uh, so I'm gonna go down, and left and right is what the changes reverse to regular. So uh, uh, this would be regular, this is a default, uh, and then, uh, and this is reverse, okay? So this is the, the way, what I want for this servo. 
uh, go down one more, narrow band. Now it actually defaults to uh, uh, not narrow band. As you can see, it just looks uh, um, kind of hard to see, but that's uh, uh, it's not uh, in a full uh, display. Uh, but if I go up again, uh, I'll change it to narrow band because this is the 760 that I want for this particular servo. This is uh, also defaulted to ACC. Uh, I don't know what that means. It doesn't default to smooth. It doesn't default to SANWA. But uh, so, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, this one is sort of like a, a brighter. And that's how you know uh, it, this is the, uh, the default value. Just so like here, the heli is bright. Acro, buggy, and drift uh, are, are not bright. Uh, so again, I'm gonna come down. Uh, P is 64, D is 63, these are default values. Dead zone is 16, uh, N, PWN, 2319 for this particular servo. N, PWN, 707, uh, max uh, amps, 3.5, startup, 128. I don't know what that means, but again, these are the default values in case you, you find yourself uh, messing with the values and don't remember what they were. Out angle positive 75.1, out angle negative 75.1, self start 16, overload amps 2.7, overload amp, the overload 2 would be 1.6, overload 3, 0.4, overload 1, uh, S, I have no idea what that means, but it's 4.0, 10, 18.0. Uh, 582, 20, and the neutral, it, it's actually zero. Uh, so I will, um, let's see, uh, uh, I'll change it. This is what the what the default value is, it's zero. Uh, but um, uh, then actually, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then we'll, we'll, we'll play around that and we'll show you what, what that looks like. So I'm gonna come out of this, uh, I'm gonna press the center button. And now this allows me to uh, write the servo. So I am going to write the, the servo at this time. And then it'll give me this write OK. And then I can exit out of here. And here what I can do is uh, um, uh, test the servo. Uh, all, uh, the only parameter change that I made was that I, I changed the neutral. Okay, um, so let, let's see what happens. Right now it's still neutral, right? Because uh, uh, again, the servo is passive. But when I test the servo, um, and again, the default to 1520, so I have to bring it down to SR. Go up again. Uh, activate the servo by pressing the 1010. And then go back to center. As you can see, it's uh, uh, hard to tell, but this is no longer center, it's actually down. A little bit uh, hard to uh, to tell with the uh, the camera. So at this point, I'm going to change neutral uh, to 10 just to see what happens at, uh, at center with the servo, and I'm going to uh, write it to the servo. Write OK, so I can come out of that. I'm going to test the servo. Again, it always defaults to 1520. I I'm going to come down to uh, mode. I change it to SR, which is 760, uh, go up again, activate by 1010, and 760, and as you can see now, uh, it's exaggerated, but you can see how the center is actually uh, pointing down, right? So this is down. So we're gonna go back to uh, the original uh, parameter that I uh, had already set, which was negative uh, 2.8, so I'm going to read servo. Up, oh, I'm going to uh, come down on the neutral to a value that I had already uh, set, you know, mainly by eyesight, but uh, it worked. Negative 2.8. We're going to uh, write this value, write the, the value to the servo. Write OK. I'm going to uh, test again. Defaults of 1520. I have to change it. Uh, there's, uh, I wish there was a way to just leave it at 760, but that's you know, not how this works. Um, activate and 760. And as you can see, this is uh, pretty pretty neutral. Um, 
again uh, uh, not super evident uh, in the camera it almost looks like a like it's up but uh, but it's not this is a uh, uh, as neutral as it gets and this is pretty much how you uh, access the parameters and write information into the servo or change the parameters now I don't know what the, a lot of those parameters uh, means but uh, uh, but I, uh, I'm sure over time there there will be more videos explaining what the different parameters uh, do.